Caspian Sea. The Caspian Sea is the largest enclosed inland body of water on Earth by area, variously classed as the world's largest lake or a full-fledged sea. It is in an endorheic basin. It has no outflows, located between Europe and Asia. It is bounded to the northeast by Kazakhstan, to the northwest by Russia, to the west by Azerbaijan, to the south by Iran, and to the southeast by Turkmenistan. The Caspian Sea lies to the east of the Caucasus Mountains and to the west of the vast steppe of Central Asia, its northern part. The Caspian Depression is one of the lowest points on Earth. The ancient inhabitants of its coast perceived the Caspian Sea as an ocean, probably because of its saltiness and large size. The sea has a surface area of 371,000 square kilometers, 143,200 square miles, not including its detached lagoon of Garabogas Kolelaji, and a volume of 78,200 cubic kilometers, 18,800 cu mi. It has a salinity of approximately 1.2 percent, 12 grams L, about a third of the salinity of most sea water. Etymology The word Caspian is derived from the name of the Caspi, an ancient people who lived to the southwest of the sea in Transcaucasia. Strabo wrote that, to the country of the Albanians belongs also the territory called Caspian which was named after the Caspian tribe, as was also the sea, but the tribe has now disappeared. Moreover, the Caspian Gates, which is the name of a region in Iran's Tehran province, possibly indicates that they migrated to the south of the sea. The Iranian city of Kazvan shares the root of its name with that of the sea. In fact, the traditional Arabic name for the sea itself is Bar al Kazwan, Sea of Kazvan. In classical antiquity among Greeks and Persians it was called the Hycanian Ocean. In Persian antiquity, as well as in modern Iran, it is known as e Dari Kazar. It is also sometimes referred to as Mazandaran Sea, Persian, in Iran. Ancient Arabic sources refer to it as Bar Galan, meaning the Galan Sea. Turkic languages refer to the lake as Kazar Sea. In Turkmen, the name is Haza Denizi, in Azeri. It is Ziza Denizi, and in modern Turkish, it is Haza Denizi. In all these cases, the second word simply means sea. And the first word refers to the historical Khazars who had a large empire based to the north of the Caspian Sea between the 7th and 10th centuries. An exception is Kazakh, where it is called Kaspi Tenitsi, Caspian Sea. Old Russian sources call it the Kvalina Kvalese Sea, after the name of Kvesmia, 11. In modern Russian, it is called Kaspiskoi Mor. Physical characteristics formation The Caspian Sea, like the Aral Sea, Black Sea, and Lake Ermia, is a remnant of the ancient Paratebi Sea. It became landlocked about 5.5 million years ago due to tectonic uplift and a fall in sea level. During warm and dry climatic periods, the landlocked sea almost dried up, depositing evaporitic sediments like halite that were covered by wind-blown deposits and were sealed off as an evaporite sink when cool, a wet climate refilled the basin. Comparable evaporite beds underlie the Mediterranean. Due to the current inflow of fresh water, the Caspian Sea is a freshwater lake in its northern portions. It is more saline on the Iranian shore, where the catchment basin contributes little flow. Currently, the mean salinity of the Caspian is one-third that of Earth's oceans. The Garabogas Col embayment, which dried up when water flow from the main body of the Caspian was blocked in the 1980s but has since been restored, routinely exceeds oceanic salinity by a factor of 10. Geography The Caspian Sea is the largest inland body of water in the world and accounts for 40 to 44 percent of the total lacustrine waters of the world. The coastlines of the Caspian are shared by Azerbaijan, Iran, Kazakhstan, Russia, and Turkmenistan. The Caspian is divided into three distinct physical regions the northern, middle, 
and southern Caspian. The northern middle boundary is the main Dishlik threshold, which runs through Chechen Island and Cape T of Karagan. The middle southern boundary is the Apsheron threshold, a seal of tectonic origin between the Eurasian continent and an oceanic remnant that runs through Jiloy Island and Cape Cooley. The Garabog is cold A is the saline eastern inlet of the Caspian, which is part of Turkmenistan and at times has been a lake in its own right due to the isthmus that cuts it off from the Caspian. Differences between the three regions are dramatic. The northern Caspian only includes the Caspian Shelf and is very shallow. It accounts for less than 1% of the total water volume with an average depth of only 5 to 6 meters, 16 to 20 feet. The sea noticeably drops off towards the middle Caspian, where the average depth is 190 meters, 620 feet. The southern Caspian is the deepest, with oceanic depths of over 1,000 meters 3,300 feet, greatly exceeding the depth of other regional seas, such as the Persian Gulf. The middle and southern Caspian account for 33% and 66% of the total water volume, respectively. The northern portion of the Caspian Sea typically freezes in the winter, and in the coldest winters ice forms in the south as well. Over 130 rivers provide inflow to the Caspian, with the Volga River being the largest. A second affluent, the Ural River, flows in from the north, and the Kara River flows into the sea from the west. In the past, the Amudaya Oxus, of Central Asia in the east often changed course to empty into the Caspian through a now desiccated riverbed called the Uzboy River, as did the Siodaya farther north. The Caspian also has several small islands, they are primarily located in the north and have a collective land area of roughly 2,000 square kilometers, 770 square miles. Adjacent to the North Caspian is the Caspian Depression, a low-lying region 27 meters, 89 feet, below sea level. The Central Asian steppes stretch across the northeast coast, while the Caucasus Mountains hug the western shore. The biomes to both the north and east are characterized by cold, continental deserts. Conversely, the climates of the southwest and south are generally warm with uneven elevation due to a mix of highlands and mountain ranges. The drastic changes in climate alongside the Caspian have led to a great deal of biodiversity in the region. The Caspian Sea has numerous islands throughout, all of them near the coasts, none in the deeper parts of the sea. Ogoharada is the largest island. The island is 37 kilometers, 23 miles long, with gazelles roaming freely on it. In the North Caspian, the majority of the islands are small and uninhabited, like the Tyalini Archipelago, an important bird area, IBA, although some of them have human settlements. Hydrology The Caspian has characteristics common to both seas and lakes. It is often listed as the world's largest lake, although it is not a freshwater lake. It contains about 3.5 times more water by volume than all five of North America's Great Lakes combined. The Caspian was once part of the Tethys Ocean, but became landlocked about 5.5 million years ago due to plate tectonics. The Volga River, about 80% of the inflow, and the Ural River discharge into the Caspian Sea, but it has no natural outflow other than by evaporation. Thus the Caspian ecosystem is a closed basin, with its own sea level history that is independent of the eustatic level of the world's oceans. The level of the Caspian has fallen and risen, often rapidly, many times over the centuries. Some Russian historians claim that a medieval rising of the Caspian, perhaps caused by the Amudaya changing its inflow to the Caspian from the 13th century to the 16th century, caused the coastal towns of Khazaria, such as Atil, to flood. In 2004, the water level was 28 meters 92 feet below sea level. Over the centuries, 
Caspian sea levels have changed in synchrony with the estimated discharge of the Volga, which in turn depends on rainfall levels in its vast catchment basin. Precipitation is related to variations in the amount of North Atlantic depressions that reach the interior, and they in turn are affected by cycles of the North Atlantic Oscillation. Thus levels in the Caspian Sea relate to atmospheric conditions in the North Atlantic thousands of miles to the northwest. The last short-term sea level cycle started with a sea level fall of 3 meters, 9.84 feet, from 1929 to 1977, followed by a rise of 3 meters, 9.84 feet, from 1977 until 1995. Since then smaller oscillations have taken place. Environmental degradation, the Volga River, the largest in Europe, drains 20% of the European land area and is the source of 80% of the Caspian's inflow. Its lower reaches are heavily developed with numerous unregulated releases of chemical and biological pollutants. Although existing data are sparse and of questionable quality, there is ample evidence to suggest that the Volga is one of the principal sources of transboundary contaminants into the Caspian. The magnitude of fossil fuel extraction and transport activity in the Caspian also poses a risk to the environment. The island of Wolf of Baku, for example, has suffered ecological damage as a result of the petrochemical industry. This has significantly decreased the number of species of marine birds in the area. Existing and planned oil and gas pipelines under the sea further increase the potential threat to the environment. Nature fauna sturgeons, including the beluga sturgeon, the largest freshwater fish in the world inhabit the Caspian Sea in great numbers and yield roe eggs that are processed into caviar. Overfishing has depleted a number of the historic fisheries, including the economic exhaustion of the tuna fishery. In recent years, overfishing has threatened the sturgeon population to the point that environmentalists advocate banning sturgeon fishing completely until the population recovers. The high price of sturgeon caviar, however, allows fishermen to afford bribes to ensure the authorities look the other way, making regulations in many locations ineffective. Caviar harvesting further endangers the fish stocks, since it targets reproductive females. Reptiles native to the sea include Perthide tortoise, Testudo greca buxtoni, and Horsefield tortoise. The Caspian turtle, Maurimis caspica, although found in neighboring areas, is a wholly freshwater species. The zebra mussel and the common carp are native to the Caspian and Black Seas, but have become invasive species elsewhere. When introduced, the area has given its name to several species, including the Caspian gull and the Caspian tern. The Caspian seal, P. USA caspica, is the only aquatic mammal and is endemic to the Caspian Sea, being one of very few seal species that live in inland waters. That is different from those inhabiting fresh waters due to the hydrological environment of the Caspian Sea. There are several species and subspecies of fish endemic to the Caspian Sea, including the Kutum also known as the Caspian Whitefish, Caspian Marine Shad, Caspian Roach, Caspian Bream. Some report that the Bream occurring in the Aral Sea is the same subspecies. And the Caspian Salmon, a subspecies of trout, Salmo trata caspiensis, which is critically endangered. Archaeological studies of Gobust and petroglyphs indicate that there once had been dolphins and porpoises, or a certain species of beaked whales and a whaling scene indicates large baleen whales, 25, likely being present in the Caspian Sea at least until the Quaternary period, although the rock art on Kitschikdash mountain, assumed to be of a dolphin, 27, or of a beaked whale, 24, might instead represent the famous beluga sturgeon due to its size, 430 centimeters in length. Fossil records suggest certain ancestors of modern dolphins and whales, such as Macrocontriodon mirani, bottlenose dolphins, and Balanoptera sibaldina, blue whales.
were presumably larger than their present descendants. From the same artworks, orcs such as Brunix Gillamok could also have been in the sea, the existence of current endemic oceanic species in these petroglyphs suggests marine inflow between the current Caspian Sea and the Arctic Ocean, the North Sea, or the Black Sea. Flora many rare and endemic plant species of Russia are associated with the tidal areas of the Volga Delta and riparian forests of the Samur River Delta. The shoreline is also a unique refuge for plants adapted to the loose sands of the Central Asian deserts. The principal limiting factors to successful establishment of plant species are hydrological imbalances within the surrounding deltas, water pollution, and various land reclamation activities. The water level change within the Caspian Sea is an indirect reason for which plants may not get established. This affects aquatic plants of the Volga Delta, such as Aldrovanda vesiculosa and the native Malumbo caspica. About 11 plant species are found in the Samur River Delta, including the unique Liana forests that date back to the tertiary period. The rising level of the Caspian Sea between 1994 to 96 reduced the number of habitats for rare species of aquatic vegetation. This has been attributed to a general lack of seeding material in newly formed coastal lagoons and water bodies. History The earliest hominid remains found around the Caspian Sea are from Dimani Sea dating back to around 1.8 Ma and yielded a number of skeletal remains of Homo erectus or Homo ergaster. More later evidence for human occupation of the region come from a number of caves in Georgia and Azerbaijan such as Kudaro and Azi Caves. There is evidence for lower Paleolithic human occupation south of the Caspian from western Alberz. These are Ganjpar and Darban cave sites. Neanderthal remains also have been discovered at a cave site in Georgia. Discoveries in the Huto Cave and the adjacent Kamarban Cave, near the town of Beshar, Mazandaran south of the Caspian in Iran, suggest human habitation of the area as early as 11,000 years ago. The Caspian area is rich in energy resources. Wells were being dug in the region as early as the 10th century. By the 16th century, Europeans were aware of the rich oil and gas deposits around the area. English traders Thomas Bannister and Geoffrey Duckett described the area around Baku as a strange thing to behold, for there issued out of the ground a marvelous quantity of oil, which serveth all the country to burn in the houses. This oil is black and is called nephta. There is also by the town of Baku, another kind of oil which is white and very precious, i.e. petroleum. In the 18th century, during the rule of Peter I the Great, Federai, so Imanov, hydrographer and pioneering explorer of the Caspian Sea charted the until then little known body of water. So Imanov drew a set of four maps and wrote the pilot of the Caspian Sea, the first report and modern maps of the Caspian, that were published in 1720 by the Russian Academy of Sciences. Today, oil and gas platforms are abounding along the edges of the sea.